Hello and welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about how I light my Red Sea Reefer 250. Okay guys, so if you've been following the channel, you would have noticed that I have three XR15 uh, Radeons. Uh, they're the Generation 3 hanging over my tank. Uh, and I have the 80 degree lenses on with the diffuser. And I'm running the SBS AB Plus program. So uh, this is one of my favorite things about uh, the Ecotech lights uh, is that uh, the company actually is investing lots of uh, uh, money and effort to develop lighting profiles that work for different corals. So the SBS AB Plus program was uh, developed by Ecotex Coral Lab, Lab program, uh, and it's supposed to kind of mimic T5 lighting for SBS. Uh, it starts uh, you know, at like a 20k spectrum, and it ramps up to 18.5k, and that's uh, that's maintained for the photo period uh, of about uh, eight hours or seven hours. All right, so let's look at my lights here. Uh, so this is my modified AB Plus program. I start the day at 7.30 in the morning and I quickly ramp up within about uh, uh, two hours to uh, the SPS AB Plus plateau, which is uh, at an 18.5K spectrum. Uh, so if you look here, uh, the 18.5K when you have the uh, Generation 3 Radions is 100% blue, 100% royal blue, 100% UV, uh, red, green, and uh, uh, cool white is at 24%. And so this photo period persists from um, 9.30 to 4.30. And then instead of ramping down like the classic SBS AP Plus program, what I do is I, I switch to uh, about a 16.5K light. So it's got a little bit more white light. And I like that because I, that's the time where I'm home from work and I just like when I see my corals, I like them, uh, I like to see them at uh, a, with a little bit more white. So this 16.5K uh, uh, spectrum has 100% of the blues and the UV on, 35% red, green, and uh, cool white. And then after, uh, after this period, I go towards a more blue spectrum until lights out uh, at uh, 20, uh, almost uh, 21 hours, which is, uh, huh, if I do my math correctly, that's about 9 p.m. So the max in intensity of this plateau is 63%. So uh, uh, when uh, when I'm riding the, uh, running the lights at, the, at this plateau, they're only running at 63% uh, of the power. And I'll show you some par readings uh, for uh, this uh, uh, for this plateau in a, in a second, and I'm going to show you uh, what the effect of actually raising this in intensity, this plateau, from uh, 63 all the way to 100%. So you could get an appreciation of how par changes uh, in my tank uh, with different power. Okay, so here is a map of par in my tank right now with the lights running at a maximum power of 62%. Uh, percent. Uh, the average par is uh, 243. And if you look at my top shelf, all of the acros on the top shelf are sitting, you know, in, in the mid uh, uh, 200s uh, to low 300s. So the highest would be, let's say, just 327 on the top of the Cali Tort. Uh, and the lowest is the uh, red planet, which is at 234. I have this, uh, you know, medium island here with uh, pink Millie getting about 200, and this uh, small island uh, that's uh, where it's got two Acroporas, where you know the Tenuous is at almost 200, and the Aura uh, red planet, sorry, the Aura uh, Birds of Paradise is 140. So that's 62%. Uh, uh, now I'm gonna show you what happens to the par in my tank as I go from 70, 80, 90 to 100% par. So uh, let's look at 70% first. So when I crank up the power from 70 uh, to 70% from 62, uh, I get about an extra 40 par. Uh, so the average is now 280. And now you'll notice that most of my top shelf is in uh, low 300s. Uh, with a few corals still in the 200 
range. So the red planet is still 234 and the slimer is about almost 300. But everything else is above 300. Uh, my medium island is getting about 200 par now and the slow island is anywhere between 175 to uh, 200 par. All right, uh, as I increase the lights from 70 to 80 percent, I get another 40 uh, improvement of par by about 40. So the average par is 318. Uh, now, almost everything in in the top shelf is in the mid 300s. Uh, we, uh, a few are almost 400. The top of the Cali uh, tort is 432. Uh, the medium island is now getting about 230, 240 par, and the small island here is getting uh, about 200 par on average, 175 on the Aura Birds of Paradise, 234 on uh, Tenuous. And then we're going to crank the lights up by 10% again, and again we're seeing an improvement of par, par by about 40, so I go from an average of 318 to uh, an average of uh, 350. And now everything is uh, above 300 on the top shelf. Uh, we, uh, almost everything is in the high 300s to uh, low 400 par. Uh, the medium uh, island is getting about 280, 260. And the uh, small island here, we're getting uh, about 200 to 260. And then finally, if I run the lights at max capacity, 100% power at the 18.5 spectrum, my average par is now 385. Uh, if almost everything is in uh, the high to mid 40s, uh, there's a few corals that are still getting like uh, high 300s, but almost everything is uh, high uh, mid 400s. Uh, the top of the Cali Tort is getting 538. Uh, the small island here, we're getting about 300 par on, uh, on the Red Millie. Uh, on, uh, on the Tenuous, we're getting 280, and the Aura Birds of Paradise, we have 210. So, you know, you, you, I have a lot of room to increase the light, so uh, I could essentially uh, almost double the par that's in my tank by going uh, from 62% to uh, 100%. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I'm, I'm actually fairly happy with the lights at 62%. Most of the corals are showing uh, pretty good colors and, you know, I'm not complaining. But I, I am curious at increasing par gradually. So what I'll do is I'll run an experiment well, every, every week or every two weeks. I'll just increase the lights by 1% uh, and, and see where, where things will end up. I feel like my a happy medium would be around 70 to 80 par where almost all of, uh, you know, so at 80 par, almost every uh, everything on the top shelf is is getting uh, 400, oh, sorry, 300 par. And I'm getting, I, I would be getting uh, more light on, on my two bottom islands here. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, uh, but in general, I'm, I'm fairly happy with, uh, with going with, uh, with uh, Ecotech Radions. Uh, I think they're really good lights. Uh, uh, and I really value the thought that uh, uh, Ecotech has put into developing the, the SPS AP Plus program and all the research they're doing uh, as part of their coral labs. Uh, I think it's great that they're, uh, they're not just putting out lights out there, but they're also developing some guides about what's the effective way to use them to get the best colors out of your uh, corals. Uh, okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, see you around.